I'm going to start our fractions lesson today by reading you a book called If You Were a Fraction. Um, and this book is by Tricia Speed Shaskin, illustrated by Francesca Curabelli. Um, there are lots of If You Were A books. So if you look this series up, you will see there are tons of them. They're all really cute and great illustrations. If you were a fraction, you would always be a part of something. You could be one wedge of an apple, two pieces of pie, three wedges of a pear, and four slices of pizza. If you were a fraction, you would be one or more equal parts of a whole. The hungry hippo eats a fraction of every pizza on the buffet table. He takes one half of the vegetarian pizza, one eighth of the sausage pizza, and one fourth of the cheese pizza. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into three equal parts. You would be thirds. Jenny juggles three red balls. One ball falls. Jenny has dropped one third of the balls. Joey juggles three green balls. Two balls fall. Joey has dropped two thirds of the balls. I want to take a moment and point out that many times when we talk about fractions and we introduce them to children, they envision it as parts of a whole and the whole is only one thing. So that parts of a pizza, that's a lot of times how students envision fractions. However, that is not always the case. We determine what the whole is. And a great example of this is the ball scenario that where they're talking about the juggling. So if you notice again, it says that Jenny juggles three red balls, one ball falls, Jenny has dropped one third of the balls. I love that the hole in this case is the three red balls and they have them all labeled. You can very easily see it's one third, one third, one third. Three copies of one third makes three thirds, which is the whole. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into two equal parts you would be halves. The zany zebra's flag is one half white and one half black. The loopy leopard's flag is one half yellow and one half black. The proud peacock's flag is one half green and one half purple. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into four equal parts. You would be fourths. One window has four equal parts or panes. If one pane is broken, one fourth of the window is broken. If three panes are broken, three-fourths of the window is broken. And I would even stop here and say, can you think about this in terms of copies, right? Three copies of a fourth or three copies of each pane, that gives us three-fourths. Relate it back to that copies of for fractions. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into eight equal parts. You would be eighths. Robin slices a raspberry pie into eight pieces. Each bird gets one piece. Each bird gets one eighth of the pie. If you were a fraction, you could be divided more than once. You would be one unit subdivided into equal parts. Josie and Jackie split the yummy candy bar. They each have one half. Then Johnny and Joey show up. Josie and Jackie split each part again. Now the candy bar is in four pieces. Josie, Jackie, Johnny, and Joey each have one fourth of the candy bar. If you were a fraction, you could be part of a set. A set is a group that has something in common. Louis, the tiger trainer, has a set of three flaming hoops. Fanny, the tiger, jumps through the first flaming hoop, or one third of the set. Fanny jumps through the second flaming hoop. Fanny has now jumped through two thirds of the set. Fanny jumps through the third flaming hoop. Now Fanny has jumped through three thirds of the set or one whole set. If you were a fraction, you could be compared with other fractions. Buck, Buttercup, and Betsy make six cookies. Buttercup gets one of the six cookies. She has one sixth of the cookies. Buck gets two of the six cookies. He has two sixths or one third of the cookies. Betsy gets three of the six cookies. She has three six or one half of the cookies. One sixth is the smallest of three fractions. Buttercup has the fewest cookies. Three six is the largest of the three fractions. Betsy has the most cookies. You would always be part of the whole if you were a fraction.
fractions, probably even for you, come with a lot of trauma. A lot of children often find these really confusing. So any kind of novelty that we can introduce into our lessons to make them feel more comfortable with fractions, to make them have sort of a good taste in their mouth when it comes to fractions, um, I always take that opportunity. So again, if you were a fraction, this is definitely one you wanna add to your classroom.